Hey everyone, Dr. Nyack from St. Louis, Missouri. I like to think I have a reputation for creating really natural results, but most of what you see me post are dramatic changes, but still natural. This woman is a great example of someone who only needs subtle tweaks, but I like to think that I still created a natural result on her. I want you to know what went into her natural results, so I'm going to talk you through it. So this woman is 40 years old. She just turned 40 in this photograph, and she saw her face age a lot in the few years leading up to 40. She had been getting Botox and fillers and energy-based devices from a very reputable injector. Uh, it just wasn't reaching what she needed, and she had changes despite being only 40 that are really best addressed surgically. So let's, let's analyze that. So when I look at her, she's got a little bit of a taller forehead, but that's actually really attractive in my opinion. Um, Natalie Portman's got a really tall forehead. That's, that's a thing that's becoming, I think, very attractive, and I wouldn't want to change that. But when I look at her brow position, she has a certain kind of, I think, sadness to her brow position, especially on her right side. This one kind of sits a little lower, and I think it looks a little sadder. So when we look at just basic emojis, all of these faces have effectively the same facial expression, effectively the same um, emotion. But if I change what I do to their eyebrows, I can make them have very different connotations, very different perceived emotions um, just from changing what I do to their eyebrows. So I can get mad, I can get sad or worried, and I can get surprised just from changing the eyebrow position. So when I go back and look at her, she's got a falsely kind of sad puppy dog eyebrow. So that's one thing that I see. She has a little bit of excess upper lid skin, but honestly, that's you don't have to treat everything, and it, it really isn't on my radar, and I don't think it's on her radar, and I think it would have made her upper lid look really hollow to take all that excess skin out, so we're going to leave that alone. As we get lower into her face, she has a pretty decent bulged fat pad here, and then a pretty good amount of emptiness. And this is a big feature of her whole face is this facial wasting or facial emptiness. And she's just a really lean person. She doesn't have any health concerns. She eats appropriately. She's just really lean. And so treating this facial wasting or facial emptiness is going to be a large part of her overall plan. Um, she does have a little bit of a crooked nose and a little bit of a bulbous tip. We're actually going to be treating that non-surgically about three months from now, so I hope you tune in and watch that. Um, and then maybe eventually she'll get a rhinoplasty. She's got that on her radar. Um, the last thing when we look at her, just from a glimpse, just from a global, she looks kind of rectangular. There are, in on the balance, she's about as strong across her jaw as she is across her temples. And it gives her a little bit of a squarer... Um, less pretty result or less pretty appearance than we could get. So if we look at her on the three quarter, now this is a picture taken in my office by different lighting. Um, I like these pictures for eyes. I like these pictures for eyes because they show all the shadows and they show, I think they show the brow emotion the best, um, the non-flashed mm -hmm. pictures. For lower face, I like flashed pictures. I think they show the best, but you can see it eliminates everything under her eyes. So you can't really appreciate that as well. But on this view, um, she has looseness, true looseness. It's looseness along the lower face, and it's true looseness under the neck. And so this is something where people often ask me, you know, I'm only 40. Can I do something non-surgical? Can I do a therapy? Can I do Morpheus 8? Can I do face tight? Can I do Accutite? She has no excess subcutaneous fat down here. Anything that removes fat in any way is just going to harm her. So... All therapy gets rid of a little bit of fat sometimes, terrible idea. It's not going to make enough tightening and it's not going to, it's not going to make her look better. Face tight, lipo tight, Kybella, cool sculpting, all of those by design remove fat, hopefully effectively, and fat's not her issue. She is truly loose and we're seeing loose skin and loose muscle there. So that needs to be treated truly by tightening. And so when we look at her as a whole, she has relatively advanced aging changes for her age and they're pan facial they start from the top of her forehead and they go down to her neck so if we want to make a convincing and pretty restoration now this is a photo she just sent me from home she's not coming back until her four month follow-up so this is one month after surgery taken at home um, if we want to make a convincing restoration we have to treat all these areas 
So if we look at her brow, her brow is now in this more kind of bedroom eye position. It's not that low, sad brow that we saw previously, so brows are so important. Um, if we look at her under eye, this spot here, which used to be the deepest, darkest, emptiest section of her cheek, is now the highest, brightest section of her cheek because that has all been treated with living fat. So if we're counting procedures here, number one, she had a brow lift. You can see her early healing incision right there. That's my brow lift incision, and then there's another one right there. So I do my brow lifts these days with incisions that are a centimeter and a half, maybe two centimeters long, right at the hairline, and they are very hard to find even at the one month point. There it is, right there, and the mirror image right there. So if we're counting procedures to get a natural result, number one so far is a brow lift, Number two so far, lower blepharoplasty, where I took the fat bag out, and then I've also done a tremendous amount of fat transfer in her. She's had almost 16 cc's of fat put into her face. So when we do that, it really restores this beautiful fullness in this section of the cheek. And you can really see that. She's got a more of a beautiful rounding in the outer cheek now, where she was much more flat and square before. And between the fat transfer and the lifting effect, this section is wide compared to this section is now narrow. So everything looks much more feminine and appropriate on her. A um, little further down the face, you can see, we'll see it on the three quarter better view, the jawline neck. And I actually did a little bit of a non-surgical tweak on her here. She's got a syringe of lip filler, just one cc, just enough to kind of restore a little bit of fullness. So upper face again, Brow is lifted. She's a little over lifted now on her right brow, but that is intentional because I expect things to settle. So with brows, to get as good symmetry as you can, you actually have to overcorrect the low side, knowing that it'll settle over the next several months and then hoping that it'll land pretty even. And I tell people this is a guess, it's a hope. Um, I know you'll look better, but I can't promise you will look even. Under eyes again, I think just this beautiful fullness where you get the highlight right here instead of the dark spot right here. That's the key to under eyes. Um, so that also, by the way, she got a CO2 laser under her eyes. So this area is still kind of pink. It's only been a month and she's got some makeup on obviously and that's helping to cover the pink under her eyes. Lower face, here's her lower face after result. And I think you will see the jawline here with the loose platysmal band and skin has been very significantly reinforced. She's got a much crisper, higher shadow jawline there and a nicer platysma. We can see that better in this full face view where again, much nicer platysma, much nicer skin laxity here, much nicer jawline. And I think this is a beautiful, um, natural full face restoration. I wish the second picture weren't in makeup, but we always get this because people feel good about themselves and they like to they like to send pictures where they look great. Um, and so as much as I wish every picture was makeup free, that's not reality. Um, looking through the makeup though, I think you can absolutely see she's got the pretty bedroom brow position, the pretty full, beautiful lower cheek instead of the empty with the little bump right here. Beautiful arcs created in both cheeks. That is the fat transfer um, it does much better than injectable fillers. I only do it with surgery though. Um, restored lips, in that case, I think the fillers do a much better job than fat. Pretty jawline, pretty neckline. Now let's talk incisions. We already talked about her brow lift incision. There's one of them. Let's zoom in a little bit. There's one brow lift incision right there. It has a mirror image on the other side. Bear in mind, this is one month after surgery. And then this is her lower face neck lift incision. You guys, you guys hear me talk about lower face neck lift incisions a lot. This is typical for one month. It's still pink right there. It's dived behind that little tab. And then from there, it's in the creases, the earlobe crease behind the ear crease. But this is pretty typical for a month. You can see it if you know where to look and if your hair is not down. So that is a pretty typical incision. We also went a little bit overboard trimming her temporal hair here. We don't normally trim that much. Uh, but that stuff is this thin little wispy stuff within within a month, most of it's back, within two months, all of it's back. That's sometimes we have to shave a little bit, and we did on her, uh, but it's really, it's no big deal. If she were to wear her hair down like she is in this picture, 
you wouldn't even know about it. Um, but she's wearing it up specifically so we can see her early incision line. So with that, I hope this has been helpful um, to get an example of how it can actually take a little bit of effort. Brow lift, lower lids, deep plane lower facelift, deep neck lift, fat transfer, that's five surgical procedures, CO2 laser and lip filler, that's two non-surgical procedures, to create a truly convincing, truly startling, but really natural beautification preventative lift of the young face. I would love to answer any questions that you have. I want to thank my gracious patient for allowing me to use her on social media. And uh, we welcome you in St. Louis if you ever have the opportunity to come visit. Thank you so much.